Today we're going to be talking about how to install our flush blade system, our single frame sidelight flush blade. To do your flush blade, just like all the rake material, you always want a chalk line from the bottom from one end to the other end of the wall. The reason that is so you can have it edged up to the top. This is called flush lace for a reason, it's laced to the edge of the wall. You also want to put your laser, make sure that your fur down is as straight as it can be. If you need a accommodate, you fix it as you go. To start this off, you always want to start with your vertical. And like the design one and other of our this is a surface mount system. So we go back to our using our RM107, also known as a starter pad. Um, you get your measure, measurement from the bottom of the floor down to the top of the finished floor. After you get it, you cut it in, make sure that it fits. Don't forget to add a half inch so that it can flush. Unlike our other system, that is 3 eighths, our, our flush blade system actually comes in with half inch trim where you're going to set it, your glass on top. So you need it to flush out. You mark from the edge of the sheet rock to the inside a half inch. After you mark it and you drive it your part, we recommend that you free drill. Start with two holes on top and offset of them 8 to 12 inches and on two, inch, two holes on the bottom as well. So you go and install it. After installing your vertical surface mount 107 on both sides, you want to make sure to keep your half inch mark on the center in the line in the middle. Pull it from the sheet rock, mark the half inch line. Then you want to get your 107 for the top. This line is marked on the side so you can keep it to your edge. Grab one, set it, set it on the edge of your material where it's flush with it. Set a screw on one side. And you set your next one on the other side. Make sure that you're straight in the middle on your half inch mark. Usually you might have to pull over. Make sure it lines up. And just finish off your screws. We have our 107 cap all the way around. Now you go to your jam material. You have three pieces. You have two uh, jams, two containers. On first place, we use the part RN124. It's still a solution, but it's our solution one frame. The difference is our door stop, unlike the solutions two. It should measure at 37 and an eighth. Find what side of your door is swinging, which way it's swinging. Attach it to the corner. Flush it out, set it in there. Then you, we already knew that it was level, so we keep it tight on top and on the side. Stack it in the middle. Then from there, you're going to get your measurement. It's going to be your hinge side, most likely it's your hinge side. You know, from the bottom the face of the header, got to the top of the finished floor. We've already cut this. It's still the same part as your header. Go at 45. Get it tied up there. Kick it in. Then we'll add our L clips on both sides and finish off the screw. Finish screwing off your clip. Put the clip on both sides. Do the same thing. 84 inches. Then you want to mark the 36 face the jam. Mark your 36. Do the same thing at the bottom. You're going to go from the face of it, mark over, get your 36 mark. The reason we put our chalk line is so that you can measure from this side, which is 9 16 from the line to the face of this. Do the same thing on your jam to get yourself an accurate measure. Then you want to measure from the bottom of your header again to the top of the finished floor. Then you want to grab your RC124 jam material. Set it in there and make sure that it's 
fits right. Once you know everything fits right, you want to remove it, and I'll show you how to anchor the bottom. Put off our strike side. Just remember to not do the notch side. Make sure you're facing towards the top. We're going to be using it to anchor our bottom to the floor. What we do is we cut ourselves a block of wood, two by four, whatever you need to get yourself. We usually do about three quarters, half inch, doesn't, doesn't really matter too much. We use a 3 6 inch drill bit to drill through them so we can set it into the bottom of the channel, keeping it flush. We use our ST137 screws to set it on the side, keeping it straight. Attach it on both sides. Once it's in there, we recommend using tap cons. Inch and a quarter by 3 16 and we use a 5 30 second drill bit to hammer it down to the ground. We've installed our strike side jam material. We added our T clip on top. Put one screw just to set it to keep it in place. We have more material that's going to go attached to the back side. But if you come take a look over here, Remember we used the 5 30 second hammer drill bit and then we added our tap cons to anchor to the ground. Now that you're at this step, you're going to look for your part. It's an RN103, also known as our case open. The way we like to get this measurement is to go from the, from the edge of your header, 5 eighths over, mark your 5 eighths and from that line, to the mid to the of the starting end, it's going to be your head. The screws are already done. You get this part, you slide it in, make sure you go through your groove, push that part of the head back, slide it up, bring it over, keep it tight, keep it tight, screw it down. Okay, we finish screwing our header down. 8 to 12 inches. Still has one, one here. Now at this stage you can do your other case opening and it's going to go on the vertical side. And then you measure the face case opening on top. So the top of the finished floor. Get the full measurement. We'll be using the same part. RN103. Also known as case opening. Same thing. We're going to go on to the Tuck it in. Make sure it fits right. Line it up, and you're going to do the same thing. Add your clip, and that clip's going to go up here. And if you have any questions on how to install any of our clips, please visit our other videos that we have on how to install our clips. We go down 8 to 12 inches on both sides. Finish screwing up our highlight material. Now we're to the insert in the back of the strike tab. Back strike down is our RN199. Open it at our 107. Just like our other ones, you go from the bottom of the header down to the top of the next floor. Once you cut that, you leave your chest through there just temporary. You're going to hold it, make sure that it fits right. But you, don't forget that you have that block that you can anchor down from the strike side. So I'm going to show you how to mount it. You want to keep it tight on top. Mark where it is. Mark on the other side. And we'll show you how to Now that we have our 109 sitting here, and we did mark where the block of wood was, we like to use a combination square to get the depth of it. The way you get the depth of it, is you, here's a sample piece of the jam material. You want to go from this end to this end, which is 7 eighths. Set it on your combination square, put it on there, mark it. Do the same thing on the other side. Then for the tools that we like to use is our snips and our dug bill pliers. We'll get our snips, take your time. You don't want to go too past far it, because then it, it might show on your system. Set it like that. Snip it off. Get your dug bill pliers. Pull it off. Straighten out your, your legs. And that should clear you up so you can install it in the back of the jam material. Now 
we're back to install our 199. We've got both sides knocked out. This is a strong kit with your anchor for your strike jam. Set it there, make sure you fit it correct. Make sure it's tight and right. Remember, you have a set screw. You want to go ahead and remove that set screw. You do have them on both sides, but you're just going to work on one side. Take that out, push it in together. This time you want to set it right here so it doesn't move down. our trim you can go look up our other videos how to snip trim and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side snap in your trim it's a lot easier than normal trim same thing goes on the other side once again you have to pre-notch this it doesn't come from the manufacturer like that that's just a Clear your clip. Like all the other videos, this one you can literally get it in with your hand. But if you want, use our block of wood and a, and a dead hook. Get it all the way in. Snap on. That's what you should be at. Next step we're going to be talking about is our base. We have two different types of base. One, we use a U channel to make our own notches. To accommodate for this right here on the corner on both sides. And we'll show you how that's done. Right, how to install your new channel for your base and how to notch and pre drill your hose to anchor it to the floor. So, just an example if this was still full and how we got that mark. You want to you want to put it toward the back side of it. Get yourself a pencil. Mark it on the back side. After you have your mark, use we like to use a Dremel tool. We cut it right here, and I also like to cut off about a sixteenth to an eighth inch to give you a little wiggle room, which you won't see after installed. The way you get your measurement for your U channel is you're going to measure from the edge of this trim to the opposite side with your notches, you set it in there you should always flush out to the outside 